so let's look a little bit closer at a definition. And as I said before, there are a lot of terms that are related to it, and there is no specific perfect definition, but this one comes very close. New Media Art describes projects that make use of emerging technologies and are concerned with the cultural, political, and aesthetic possibilities of these tools. This first part of the definition breaks down into two distinct ideas. The first is that where it talks about what it is, what we're, what we're referring to, uh, emerging media technologies. Now, the second part relates to what's being done with it, the cultural, political, and aesthetic possibilities of these tools. What's interesting about this definition is that the second part applies to any medium, uh, whether it be painting, drawing, photography, or contemporary art and technology. Um, and you'll hear me referring to these three terms again and again to sort of reflect on how the different aspects of the media that we're looking at relate to this definition. The second part of this definition is uh, that new media art is also a subset of two broader categories. The first is art and technology, and that relates to electronic art, robotic art, genomic art, or anything that um, is specifically technologically centered. And the second field is media art. Now these are like um, video art or experimental film and represent uh, different technologies that by the 1990s and the, um, the advent of the World Wide Web, these technologies were still not new. Now, new media art then represents sort of the intersection of these two areas. So it is uh, specifically about things that don't fall in the, or entirely within one, but relate to like both. Now, I want to back up a little bit and I want to think about the, the term new media art and um, sort of what it means, but let's start by breaking it down into its contingent parts. So when we talk about art, um, art has, art is a very broad category and has changed in its meaning over the years. I mean, since artists were working for the church, uh, since artists uh, were working for the government and for themselves, um, one thing that I want to consider is that in looking at art, um, it, it never seems to be a good question to say, well, is it art? Or what is art? These seem to be like uh, questions that lead to these sort of philosophical discussions and don't get very far. So in terms of whether something is art or not, when we're talking, we don't really care. Um, if it was made by an artist or if it's claimed to be art, that's fine. Um, but beyond that, uh, the questions that we're going to ask and the things that we're going to think about are, is it interesting and what does it mean? Now with respect to media, um, media is typically refers to broadcast media or media that sort of follows that model where there's one publisher and many readers or many consumers. Um, now this idea of one to many has been upended by the internet, uh, which is really about being many to many, as in men there are many producers and many consumers. But still when we are talking about media, um, we traditionally are thinking about the one to many, the broadcast model. And this can be, like I said, it can be television or it can be newspapers or anything along those lines. Finally, I want to consider the idea of digital. And in this day and age, it's hard to do anything without working with something that's specifically digital. Digital re refers to two distinct states at its like sort of base environment. That is to say that when anything that you take that is digitally recorded comes down to two states, whether they be ones and zeros, or high voltage and low voltage, um, in, a, in an electronics sense. Um, everything gets sort of uh, translated or, or coded as ones and zeros. Um, now this, this is in direct comparison to something that's analog, where it's like if you're looking at something that's analog, it has a complete range like say when you're moving like through the span of an arc, you can stop anywhere in there. 
uh, whereas with the digital it's either one or the other and it's about sort of stringing these ones and zeros together to find or to add up to something that's larger. Now, I want to consider how art is related to medium, and I don't want to go into it in too much depth at this point. We're going to talk to about it a little bit more in the future. Um, particularly, I want to talk about the fact that all art is not digital today, but the way that we experience most art, or the easy way to experience most art, is through the digital. So if we look at the Mona Lisa, most of us are familiar with the Mona Lisa based on an image that we've seen. And most of the people who are grow who've grown up in the last 20 years have seen this image then online, as opposed to even in a book. The question is, how many of us have seen the actual painting itself? How many of us are familiar with the actual object of art, as opposed to a digital representation of it? And in the case of a book, uh, the book is even frequently a digital representation that's been created out of um, uh, digitally, digitally scanned uh, images. Now we're going to spend time with three specific areas. Um, images, the web, and games. And we're going to look at each of them in terms of how they are digital media art and how it relates to our definition. 